it is very, very surprising, this behavior we're seeing, but at least a little bit of behavior that is kind of normal is the fact that these hyena are now biding their time waiting for a meal. And again, I think, you know, we could be witnessing these strange, strange events where animals don't act as you would expect them to simply because there's so much food around. I mean, these hyena are certainly looking fairly well fed themselves. So why go through the risk and take the gamble of having an altercation, even with the species that you ordinarily would, hyena would ordinarily very easily overpower cheetah, but there is always a risk involved. And I guess at the moment, the predators are just living the good life. And hyena in the background says it's time to do a pedicure, it looks like, as opposed to cashing on a few free meal. <laughs> she was busy tending to her toenails, it appeared. It will be nice to see them come in and tear this carcass apart though once the cheetah do move off. I wonder how long we've been here. We've probably been here close on an hour, so I'm guessing these cheetahs are probably going to be moving off fairly soon. Jeremy, you would like to know why are these hyena even a threat even though they're outnumbered? And I guess it's because they've got bone-crushing jaws. They are more robust and built for a bit of argy-bargy and confrontation than cheetah are. Cheetah are far more slender, slight, and would not put up much of a fight against a hyena. If that hyena just gets one good bite onto just about any part of the cheetah's body, it is going to break something. Whereas if the cheetah bites onto the hyena, I don't think it's going to break anything unless it's got quite some time to chew on it. So I think it's just a physical difference. The hyenas are bigger slightly and just stronger and built for a bit more of a battering than the cheetah are. Fascinating scenes and the Masai Mara certainly is an incredible place to be able to enjoy these kinds of two shots. Stanley, you're suggesting that maybe these hyena are sub-adults, hence their kind of lack of willingness to try and confront these cheetah and I don't think so they look fully grown to me sub-adult hyenas often have quite long long fur and very prominent spots so the two of these to me look like they are adults maybe not dominant or very large adults but I do think it's fair to say that they are no longer youngsters youngsters often have a paler coat of fur and very prominent spots So like I said, I think we've been here for about an hour. I think they made the kill about an hour ago. And usually it doesn't take them much longer than this to eat as much as they need to and then start moving off, which means if these hyenas are patient, which that one might be losing patience, or is it coming to have another investigation to see if it can try and push the cheetah off? Hmm. Hello, Nico. You would like to know how one would sex hyenas, and the short answer to that is with difficulty. I still, having spent many years around hyena, I'm not confident to be able to sex one from another unless we see seeing kind of behavioral signs that would indicate that one would be more dominant than another and then that would indicate that the dominant one would be the female. The females have got their kind of roles reversed compared to most other mammals. The females are bigger, stronger and more dominant than the males. And they've also got sexual appendages which look very much like a male's. That is why it makes it difficult to tell them apart. They both externally look very, very, very similar. 
so yes, for me, <clears throat> Nico, I just use kind of behavioral signs, interactions between hyena and if one is much bigger than another one when they start standing side by side, I mean, that can also be a good clue. But it's not a perfect science, at least certainly not for me. Well, as you can see, the cheetah have started to move off, those who are fit enough. And Starlight, you would like to know, why is this hyena frothing at the mouth? It could be a number of things. The fact that just like you and I would start to drool if we had been stuck on an island for a month and then were taken to a very fancy restaurant, our saliva glands would start working in overdrive. And it's not usually different to these hyena drooling at the prospects of some fresh meat but it's also sometimes when they run long distances their their mouth begins to foam and froth and they may have run a long distance to get into this area they do move incredibly big distances most nights so i'm guessing though in this case they are drooling at the prospects of this wildebeest okay it seems like everything's fairly stable here for now so